I have a switch connected to digital input 1 on the drive. We'll program the soft PLC to take that input and send it to digital relay output 1 through a normally open contact which will turn on a light that's built into this switch. That will give us a super simple ladder program so we can see how to set up and program the soft PLC without getting bogged down with the PLC ladder logic details. Before doing anything though, let's do a factory reset on the drive so we're all starting from the same place. Let's bring up the WEG programming software which I'll refer to as WPS. Create a new configuration, name the first resource, our soft PLC demo drive in this example and hit next. I'm connected to the drive using this RS45COM module and this USB to 45 converter which to my PC looks like a serial port so I choose this guy. I see in my PC's device manager that the drive is on serial port 13 so I make sure that is here. The rest of these are the drive's default values and since we just did a factory reset I know these are what I need so I'll hit test to make sure WPS can see the drive. It does so we hit next. Since we're connected WPS already knows which drive we're connected to so we just hit next again. This is so we can import ladder code from the WLP software. We don't need to do that so we can skip it and hit finish. Great, here's our configuration and here's our soft PLC drive resource. And as usual we can see all of our parameters and diagnostics. This is where we enter our PLC ladder code. Double click on the main ladder code and we're ready to go. Now make sure you're not connected. You can't edit ladder code while connected to the drive because that could open you up to unsafe and dangerous situations. Just reach over to the toolbox and drag a normally open contact onto the rung. Double click on the name, search for digital input and select DI1. Now I go over to my coils and drag an output coil onto the rung. Double click the name, search for digital output and select number 1. Well, that's it for the ladder code. We'll take a closer look at all the functions available to you and a lot more in the next video. One of the cool things about the WEG drive is that the digital inputs aren't limited. In some drives, if you use the digital input in a soft PLC, then you can't use it in the drive and vice versa. So the good news is the WEG drives don't limit you like that. The bad news is you need to be extra careful because the drive may be using a digital input that you're also using in the soft PLC. Let's look at our digital input and see if we have any conflicts. If we go to our parameters and search for DI1 and we connect to the drive, we see parameter 263 tells us that DI1 is currently assigned by default as the run stop for the drive. Again, there's nothing wrong with that if you intended for DI1 to be both the manual switch input and a run stop for the drive. In fact, that's a pretty common thing to do. But since we haven't even entered our motor parameters yet, Let's limit DI1 to just the soft PLC right now and change parameter 263 to not used by the drive. Remember this write happens automatically because we're connected to the drive. Now because DI1 was defaulted to control run stop, something was probably expecting to use it. Let's search the parameter list for run stop. Ah, look at that. The remote run stop was planning to use DI1 as the run stop control. Now we don't have to change this. It's not going to work anyway since we turned it off in parameter 263. But it's nice to go ahead and change it anyway so in the future when others are looking at your setup there won't be any confusion. Let's change the remote run stop to be controlled by the HMI just to get it out of the way. Now what about digital output 1? We want to use it to turn the indicator on. Does the drive have any default plans for it? Well, search on DO1. Yep, parameter 275 says the drive is planning to use this to indicate a no fault condition. Now this one we do have to change. We can't have two different functions trying to control a single output. The drive will let you do it but you would never know which one is controlling the output. So let's tell the drive that for our demo only the soft PLC will be controlling this output. Great, we entered our ladder code and we made sure the digital I.O. we're using doesn't conflict with the drive. To build or compile the ladder code we just hit the build resource button. And we see down here we have no hits, no runs, no errors, perfect. Now we just use this button to download the ladder code to the drive. Do we want the ladder program to run automatically when the drive is powered up and when we're done transferring the ladder code? Sure. If I reach over and flip the switch, the soft PLC sees the switch toggle and then sends it back out to control the light bulb. Exactly what we expect. Now how do you know that I didn't just connect the switch directly to the indicator? Well if we reconnect to the drive and go to parameter 901, 
and set it to a zero to stop the soft PLC. Give it a second to take. Looks good. And now try to flip the switch. Ah, nothing happens because the soft PLC is no longer passing the input switch signal to the digital output. Let's change parameter 901 back to a 1 to get the soft PLC running again. And sure enough, everything's back working again. And look at this. Since we are connected, if I go back to the ladder program, I can also see that here. When I toggle the switch, both the contact and the coil light up. Now I know that seems silly in this simple example, but when you start getting into real PLC programming applications, it's an absolute lifesaver to be able to see exactly what's going on inside the ladder code as it runs. And how cool is it that you can change the drive parameters and do your ladder programming and do all of your diagnostics all in one application? It's so handy to be able to bounce back and forth between all of these without having to bring up separate applications. And if we had multiple drives or even multiple systems, it's just as easy to bounce back and forth between all of them and quickly configure, program, or do diagnostics on any of them. This WEG programming software is really well thought out, and the more you use it, the more you're going to appreciate that. And remember, it's a free download at AutomationDirect.com. Well, that ought to be more than enough to get you up and running with the soft PLC. Click here to learn more about the WEG CFW300 Variable Frequency Drive. Click here to learn about AutomationDirect's free support options. And click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be notified when we publish new videos.